with that energy. I'm coming back with that energy. Here we are. Welcome to the studio. So we got something really exciting from, you know, I wish we were partners, but one day our future partners, DJI, they got the DJI, baby, it's called the DJI Neo. This is my first drone ever, like the first drone I've ever, ever, ever used is this right here. So I'm hoping that it's gonna, it's gonna really blow my mind, you know, just really wow me. But this is the DJI Neo. Small. So I got the DJI Neo right here. I know a lot of YouTubers have the fly more combo and all that. But the, the whole emphasis of this video is just to kind of like um, do a quick unboxing of this product. Let me see, I didn't have to even cut it, bro. I, I'm so I'm so giddy with the knife. There's a little tab right here, just spin that. It says 16 plus. I feel like this is geared for, I think it's great for kids as well. Cause I mean, it's so easy to use, but 16 plus. Oh, it's actually a small, tiny drone. It's actually really small. So what they got in here is that they got like the user manual, the DJI stuff. So I'm guessing this is the little pack right here with the manuals. Tell you how to do, what to do. Oh, DJI sticker, you know, the manual, paperwork, all kinds of stuff. I guess you scan this right here to, um, I guess to download the DJI app, I believe. So that's that right there. DJ also include this little pack right here. I don't even know what's in here, but uh, let me see. So we got right here, a little screwdriver. And we got a USB cable that we're gonna be using to charge the unit. Yeah, so DJ also includes some propellers just in case you break them. I doubt that you ever break the propellers though because these propellers are actually really well protected. This is a tiny drone. This is a really, 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 really small drone. Like this is tiny, bro. Like it is small. It is a tiny little drone. I guess you charge it right here. Um, yeah, this is basically it. So what we're going to do is that we're going to charge this up. We're going to take it outside and we're going to show you how different features in it. And we're going to talk about reason why you should or probably shouldn't buy it. So I'm actually recording outside right now. It's actually dark. I know it actually looks looks to be a little bit bright but i promise you it's dark there's a bunch of street lights so if you look if i turn this around and if i show you there's a bunch of street lights it's like four of them right on the street so this is the brightest part of the entire street itself so we're going to try the drone to see how it performs at nighttime all right so to operate the drone this you got to press the power button and then press and hold it and then It will turn on so you can cycle through different modes so with this button right here there is circle, circle rocket, rocket. Direction track. Follow. so it when you cycle through the modes there's actually a sound that tells you what mode you're in so i'm having on follow right now and if i want to use follow i just gotta hold All right, so I'm gonna, um, so I have to look at the aircraft and press that follow button, press the button. So let's go. Drone. Direction, follow. Medium, follow. Three, two, one. Unable to take off. Aim camera at subject first. So yeah, so. The DJI drone might actually be racist because uh, I guess I am way, way too black for this drone to pick me up at nighttime. <sighs> I guess my camera doesn't have a problem picking me up, but this drone clearly thinks that I am just way too black for this. But let me try this again. So I'm going to press it and hold it. Medium. Follow. Three, two, one. Unable to take off. Aim camera at subject first. So it's some of the in the camera the subject first, but I'm literally on the light. There's so much lights all around me. I'm gonna show you. 
there is lights all around me but it doesn't really pick me up in low light because my black skin combined with the low light situation it's not really a low light drone so now i'm actually chilling by a actual light source so there's like a light right here i'm by this house and i'm actually there's like a spotlight that's going on here so i'm actually going to see if the drone will actually pick me up okay okay uh, let's see if it actually will work Okay. It's literally searching for me, but it's unable to find me. Wow. It just stopped. It, yeah. It doesn't work. Hmm? So, uh, I guess it doesn't work on black skin nighttime so i'm gonna have to come back tomorrow and actually try this and see if it will work and see uh, what the quality actually looks like but yeah so in the end the dji neo failed the low light test and it's all because it's night now i can't literally go out and test this drone but there's a lot of test footage on youtube but it looks like performance really really sucks in conclusion, here are the pros. So the video quality, it comes at 4K 30p, also does 1080p 60. That's the quality. It's it's compact, it's only 135 grand. It has a level four wind resistance, even though there are sometimes when it really struggles in the wind, it doesn't have no obstacle avoidance. So it's gonna crash into things. You have to make sure that whatever surrounding your recording is actually clear. Um, you can record the audio with exterior mics. You can record the audio directly into the drone to your camera. So whether you can record it from your phone into the drone. So that means you don't have to really, really sync up like, you know, your, your drone footage with your phone footage. It records directly and you have those audio to play with. Some of the bad things, right? The poor video quality. That's something that a lot of people talk about on social media, but you have to take it in. It's a half inch sensor and it's gonna give you like it's not gonna give you you know Mavic or give you DJI Mini 3 type quality. It's gonna give you cell phone type quality, right? It's a poor, it's really bad performance at night. And as you can see in this particular video, I can't use a drone yet because it's nighttime and the quality performance was really bad in, in low, low in, like like in nighttime. The drone is loud, like it sounds like a. Um, like a bees. It's not that loud, but it does have a winding pitching sound. And especially when you're going fast, like, you know what I mean? You can hear that winding sound. All right. It does not have vertical shooting, but that's fine. Most content on social media in the vertical shooting, but the good thing about the drone is that it stayed centered. So you can always use it for social media. And moreover, you can record in 4K 30. So that will give you a little bit of like, uh, you know, opportunity to crop in. If you're recording HD 10, HD 60, you won't have the opportunity to crop in on that at all. You'll lose a lot of quality and it will look like complete trash. So it's only cheap. It's 179 US dollars, 249 Canadian dollars. The price is amazing. Um, you know, you can get an ND filter in as well for daytime. It's a good little camera to carry around. It's compact um, and it's easy, easy to fit into a bag. So the DJI Neo, I can't say I recommend it yet. I, I really got to try it. So subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be using this for all my content moving forward. I'm going to record a lot of videos with this on like shorts. So look out for my shorts and also look out for a long form video as well. Just going over the quality at daytime when I can actually use a camera. Low light performance, terrible though. Terrible, terrible, terrible.